Hi, I'm Jamie Munson, Health Coach with Partner MD. I'm located in our Midlothian, Virginia location. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm talking about uh, starting exercise over the age of 50. Exercise throughout our life is vital. Just like anything, we own anything we have. We want to make sure we're constantly taking care of it so it runs efficiently and effectively. When you age and you have never exercised, it's okay to start now. It is There's no such thing as too late. So no matter where you are post 50, if you haven't exercised, start doing so. I do ask that you speak with your physician prior to starting any routine, uh, just to make sure everything is clear and to make sure your physician doesn't have any specific recommendations. Of course, here at Partner MD, you can speak with your health coach as I run through some tips, but get some more specific customized ideas that will relate to your health or your current fitness levels, because that's gonna be really important to stay safe, but also continue to push you forward to stay strong. So one thing you want to consider is your cardiovascular training. The recommendation is about 150 minutes per week. When it comes to cardio, you really want to pay attention to the level of exertion. So one of the things we use is an RPE scale and a level of 1 to 10, where do you sit? So when you start off, you're going to want to start on the lower end. A 1 is sitting, doing nothing, 10 is all out. So start on the lower end, maybe a four or five, and get you know a little bit more vigorous as you get comfortable, depending on your fitness level, depending on your medical condition. This is important to speak with your health coach as we can design this a little bit more specifically and even use target heart range numbers for you. So drop in, make an appointment with your health coach to further learn more on that. The next thing is to add in strength training. So strength training two to three times a week Depending on how you design your strength training um, exercise reg uh, regimen, you can do full body, you can split it up, but it's gonna range about 30 minutes. You're gonna wanna start with low weights and high repetition. Again, depending on any physical limitations, it is important that you do sit down with the health coach so that you know a properly safe, effective workout program is designed for you, for your goals, but also to any conditions you may or may not have. Another thing to really consider is to add in some flexibility. You wanna make sure that you're constantly working on range of motion. As we get older, things can become more stiff and you wanna make sure that you're properly able to move and you don't wanna have any injuries as you start incorporating exercise and therefore not allowing you to get in those daily uh, physical exercises, physical activities or whatever routines that you're wanting to do. So this is important. And the last but not least, two little tips to sort of keep you with is to listen to your body. It's very important, no matter what you're doing at any point in time, to listen to your body. You know your body the best. If it needs rest, you need to rest. And don't forget to always stay hydrated. It's very important. Even when you don't feel thirsty, is putting in enough water, making sure you stay hydrated as you continue to exercise. Uh, this is going to be important so you do not fatigue during your routine. So this is a few little tasters here for you to start considering as you start a routine. But again, to learn more, reach out to your local health coach. If you have a question for me, you can reach me at jmunson at partnermd.com or of course call our local office and set up an appointment to learn more. Thanks for tuning in.